Hello, welcome back to the lecture series on multivariate integration. Now, since the last two lectures, we had been discussing how to evaluate double integrals and we have seen that that is done by actually evaluating repeated single integrals. Firstly, we have seen a rectangular region and in the last lecture, we have actually seen a non-rectangular region of type 1, which is shown over here. We just take a quick review of that. So type 1 region is something like that, where y is varying from the lower curve phi 1x to the upper curve phi 2x and x is varying from a to b. Now, when we evaluate double integrals, the main task comes that to find the limits of x and y such that the entire region omega is covered. So, in this kind of region, what we see that we first vary y or we integrate with respect to y, where we see that y is changing from phi 1x to phi 2x. And then we integrate with respect to x, where x is varying from a to b. And what is happening essentially that as we vary y from phi 1x to phi 2x, so as if we are taking a vertical strip like this and varying y from the lower curve to the upper curve. And next, we vary this vertical strip from the leftmost corner x equal to a to the rightmost corner x equal to b and thus cover up the whole region. Now, with this knowledge, we will proceed to see how we do it for type 2 region. But what is the type 2 region? Type 2 region is now somewhat like this as shown in this figure. So here actually you see that y is varying from c to d. So no longer y is function of x as in the previous case of type 1 region. Whereas x is varying from this left curve chi 1y to chi 2y. So the region is depicted like this that the region omega now consists of points x, y, where y is varying from c to d and x is varying from chi 1, y to chi 2, y, where chi 1 and chi 2 are continuous functions on c, d. Okay. So now how do we evaluate this kind of integral? Now for this region rather, so that is again given by the Fubinus theorem, fx, y, dx, dy over this kind of domain omega will be now evaluated like this. So what we do now instead of y as in the previous case, now we vary x first. That means we will now take essentially a horizontal strip so that x varies from the left curve chi 1y to the right curve chi 2y. And now the horizontal strip is actually varied through the entire region from the bottom that means y equal to c to y equal to d so that the entire region will be covered. So that is what is shown here. We first integrate with respect to x from chi 1 y to chi 2 y and then the integrant will be a function of y which will be then integrated with respect to y from c to d. So this is what we do in case of type 2 region. It's somewhat reverse of the type 1 region. Remember that in type 1 region, first we are varying y. We were taking a vertical strip, first varying y. Whereas in the type 2 region, we are first varying x. We are taking a horizontal strip. This is very, very important to remember for our correct understanding. Okay, so let us now see problems. So here we have a problem for you. Find the double integral x plus y dx dy where r is a parallelogram with the sides y equal to x, y equal to x plus a, y equal to a, y equal to 2a where a is a parameter. Okay, so as I had told you in the previous lecture also, it's very, very important for doing this kind of problems is to draw first the figure for the region very correctly so that we can actually find our limits for x and y which will cover the whole region r. 
So the figure is here. See that y equal to x is this straight line passing through the origin. y equal to x plus a is a parallel straight line shifted by the amount a. So it's passing basically through the point a over here. And now y equal to a, these and y equal to 2a, these are straight lines parallel to the x-axis obviously. So our region R is here, the blue marked region, the parallelogram bounded by the four sides. Once again, this is y equal to x, this is y equal to x plus a and here it's y equal to a and y equal to 2a. So these are the limits of the region. Now see, we have already understood type 1 region and type 2 region. But can we consider this as a type 1 region? No, because see, because y is not a function of x in the lower curve or upper curve. Rather, y is constant on the lower curve y equal to a and on the upper curve y equal to 2a. So this is essentially a type 2 region. That means we have to first vary x. We have to take a horizontal strip and vary x. So if we vary x, how it is varying? x is varying from the left curve y minus a to the right curve y and y is varying from a to 2a. So with this understanding, let us now evaluate the integral. So see that x plus y dx dy. So now we have put the limits over here. We are first integrating over with respect to x with the limits x equal to y minus a to y as just now we have discussed and then we will integrate with respect to y where y will be varying from a to 2a. So now the task is not very much difficult. We have to actually evaluate the single integrals as we are telling repeatedly. So x plus y dx we integrate we get it x squared by 2 plus yx. Of course, we have to remember that at this moment y is a constant. Now we put the limits as x varies from y minus a to y. So we put the limits over here. So what do we get now? It's for the upper limit y square by 2 plus y square minus at the lower limit y minus a square by 2 plus y into y minus a. Now this step it's just a simplification. This is 3y square by 2 minus, this is y square minus 2ay plus a square by 2 minus y square plus ay. As you do the simplification, you can check it will give us 2ay minus a square by 2. This is now integrated with respect to y. So I hope this part you can complete everyone. We integrate with respect to y and then put the limits a to 2a. If you complete these calculations, we will get 5a cube by 2. So that is our answer for this problem. Okay, so let us take up one more problem. Find the double integral sin x plus y dx dy over the region R, where R is bounded by the lines y equal to x, x plus y equal to pi by 2, and y equal to 0. So let us see the region once again. Now, of course, uh, this is going to be a triangle because it's bounded by three straight lines. So we have here y equal to x. x plus y equal to pi by 2 is this straight line. I hope everybody can draw it. And of course, it will cut the x-axis at the point pi by 2, 0. Okay. And we have the other one is the x-axis, y equal to 0. So this is our region. Now, can we identify it as a type 1 region? Can we work with it as a type 1 region? Let us have a try for that. See, if we want to do it as a type 1 region, that means we should vary y first. So, what is the lower curve and the upper curve as y varies? Now, as y varies, it varies from the x-axis, y equal to 0. But as we go for the upper curve, we face a little problem because please see that if we are within this portion 0 to pi by 4, if we take a vertical strip, it is reaching y equal to x. Whereas if we are in this portion pi by 4 to pi by 2 and we now take a vertical strip, we see that we are reaching the other boundary 
y plus x equal to pi by 2. So this creates a little, little bit of problem, but that has a remedy. If we have to treat it as a type 1 region, what we can do is we will divide the region R into two portions. This left triangle we can call as R1 and the right triangle and R2 and we can evaluate two integrals and then add. That is one way out. Otherwise, we can treat this as a type 2 region. So if we treat this as a type 2 region, what happens? Type 2 region means x is varied first, right? So we take a horizontal strip like this. So x is varying from the left curve that is x equal to y to the right curve, this straight line. So that is x equal to pi by 2 minus y. And y varies from the minimum value over here that is y equal to 0 to the maximum value over here. This will be pi by 4. Now this one everybody can solve if you just find the point of intersection of these two straight lines, you will easily find that this point is pi by 4, pi by 4, okay? So, now with these limits and treating the region as a type 2 region, we can evaluate our integral. So, sin x plus y dx dy. So, first we are integrating with respect to x, where x is varying from the left curve x equal to y to the right curve x equal to pi by 2 minus y. And then we will integrate with respect to y, where y is varying from 0 to pi by 4. So now we do the integration, which we can easily do. So sine function, as we integrate, we get a minus cosine. So this minus cos x plus y. Now we will put the limits x equal to pi to pi by 2 minus y. So if we put the limits, we will get over here minus 0 to pi by 4 cos pi by 2 minus y plus y minus cos because we are putting x equal to y so this becomes cos 2y dy but now notice this term over here y has cancelled so cos pi by 2 is 0 so we just get cos 2y dy as we integrate now this function we get sine 2y by 2 putting the limits 0 to pi by 4 finally our answer is going to be half Okay, so that's all for today. We will continue in the next lecture with some more notions of solving double integrals. Basically, we will see in the next class change of order of integration. So thank you and goodbye till then.